Hi again everyone, uh, this is Keith. This time we're going to have another tutorial vlog. So as requested, we are going to do this SketchUp 3D 2020, okay? So again, uh, you can download this one from their official site or you can just do the modeling on their official website as well. It has its own web app, so you will not be having any problems anymore. Now let's start by opening SketchUp. Okay, let's go. So by the time you're going to open SketchUp, this is what you're going to see. We have the file menu bar. We have the quick links. Okay, the quick links is like full of tools right there. So if ever you want to choose a particular tool, everything is in here. Anything that deals with designing. Now we have the tray area, which is located on the right side of the screen. Now in the tray area, you will always notice a couple of what they call this uh, infos in here. First, we have the entity info. When we say entity info, it's like if ever you're going to click on an object, click on entity info you will be able to see the properties of that particular entity or that object okay next is we have the materials now the materials if uh, it's like if ever you're going to design something let's say if I'm going to design like that then you can change uh, the color of this material through the materials panel okay so just like that okay not only colors but you can provide some sort of textures we have metallic textures if you want to create some sort of metals click on that one then you will be able to see that the texture of that particular object will be changed into something like the metal embossed material we have the components so when we say a components area so if ever i'm going to expand this one we have a pre-configured or pre-designed 3d object so for example if you want to add this uh, shelf right here so you can just simply drag it and that's it that's how you're going to use it if you want to drag the fence same thing next is um, after the components area we have the styles now the styles for now uh, is like some sort of how the object would look like okay later on as we go on with uh, the exercises since this is the first time that you're going to use it then definitely um, we might not be able to use the styles area yet but later on as we go on with the advanced exercises we'll be able to tackle all of these and so on and so forth okay now in the instructor area this is also important for beginners because this will provide you with an idea on what object you're trying to use for example since i'm currently using the select tool you will be able to see some sort of instructionals on how you're going to use it okay so if ever i'm going to use the eraser tool the eraser tool will be displayed on the instructor area or instructor panel okay so let's start for example if i'm going to design something um, i need to consider the size okay or the dimensions of the object but for now since this is the first time that we are going to use the object we are just going to do some sort of free flowing design okay so we will not be very um strict with how the size the dimension is going to look like but uh, just the design itself okay for as long as we will be able to design something let's start by clicking on this part by the way guys if ever you are going to hover your mouse on a particular tool you will be able to notice uh, the description of that tool as well as the name of that tool so for example if I'm going to hover in here this is the shapes tool click on the drop down option then you will be able to see a couple of tools the same as the shape tool okay so for example if i'm going to use rec rectangular tool or the rectangle click on that one i can click and drag okay that is how you are going to draw something now as you can see it is on um facing upwards okay now if you want to do something like you want to have a drawing that would face forward so all you need to do is just to use this tool this is the rotate tool or you can just simply use the center button of your mouse or the uh, scroll button of your mouse click on that one. Oh, where was that sorry this one the orbit tool okay so you can just click on that one like that then you can choose uh, the shape tool choose the rectangle tool then you can draw something like facing forward okay that's how you're going to do it now next this one is the 3d fire or the so-called push pull tool so the main purpose of this one is to sculpt okay the object into a 3d model so for example if i'm going to use this one over my mouse over here as you can see there is some sort of an imaginary dot that you can see in there which means 
this object has been selected already so all you need to do is just to click and drag upwards or downwards it's up to you guys so that is how you are going to use this tool click on that one face forward and that's it next is this one this is the offset tool so if ever you want to use the offset tool you can just click on that one hover your mouse on the edge once you have noticed some sort of a red node uh, that is present then that's the time that you can click and drag inwards automatically you will you can create some sort of a duplicate of that same object only a smaller version okay so that uh, by that point in time you can use uh, the push pull tool if you want to drag this one downwards then automatically you have created some sort of a box or, or a hollow box okay something like that next is uh what's the next one we have the move tool of course the move tool is like if ever you're going to select an object you can just drag it click and drag okay now the only thing with this one guys is it's better to use a move tool if the object is solid when we say solid something like this it must be grouped accordingly okay so it's like you're going to right click on that object then click on make group then that's the time that it would be safer to use the move tool because you can, because you can select the object uh, in a full version of it okay now let's say for example I'm going to create a 3d object over here I'm going to extrude this one or 3d file this one I'm going to group this one uh, right click and then choose make group then use the move tool then that's the time you can move it properly okay that's how you're going to move a particular object using move tool next is the rotate tool so of course same thing with the move tool but the only thing with this one is if you want to rotate a particular object a grouped object so let's say click here uh, hover your mouse over here then automatically the first uh, uh, the first part of the corner that you have clicked will be the base of the rotation so if ever I'm going to click in here then I can rotate it in there now as you have noticed uh, the first part it's never moving it's because that is the base of rotation of this object okay next this one the scale tool so the scale tool is like how you're going to resize the object based on its nodes so these are the cubes the nodes you can resize it accordingly if you want smaller or bigger this one is the tape measure tool so the tape measure tool will provide some sort of uh, measurement okay on the object so click on that click on the first edge then move to the second edge then you will be able to notice uh, the size of this object okay just like that next is the labeling or the text tool uh, text tool okay so the text tool will provide you with some sort of um, specifics okay on the object so whatever the measurement of that object is it will provide some sort of specifics later on as we go on with the intermediate exercises i will be explaining to you each one of them guys next this one we have the paint bucket tool click on the paint bucket tool you can use from different materials in here if you want to choose them then make it as a part of the object surface okay depending on the mood or whatever you like uh, orbit tool we're done with it the panning tool so if you ever you're going to click on that one you can just move around on your canvas this one is zoom tool uh, zoom in and zoom out this one is like if you want to zoom out to a specific area from which all of the objects that you have drawn on your canvas can be seen okay so this is like the zoom extents this one is the 3d warehouse now when we say 3d warehouse it's like all the 3d designs that they are providing sketchup is providing for you guys you can navigate it through there okay or you can just simply google it uh, SketchUp 3D Warehouse and you will be able to see some sort of free designs for you guys there are a lot of it this one is the extensions now the extensions warehouse is like providing you with some sort of additional features for this software so if you are looking for a specific feature and it's not in there then you can use that one layout is for uh, the projects that are almost done so you can provide some sort of layout to it and give it to your client something like that okay now that's it oh there's one more extensions manager now extensions manager it's like if ever you have multiple exchange uh, extensions and features already then you can use the extensions manager if you want to remove or you want to uh, delete a particular extension that you don't want anymore okay so 
that's how you're going to use SketchUp. Now let's start with the first one. Click on the Shapes tool, uh, or I'm going to click on the Shapes, choose Rectangle for this. Click and drag. I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit. I will not be very specific with the size, okay guys? So this is just a sample. Click, there you go. Next is I'm going to use this tool. This is the Push-Pull tool. Cover it, drag upwards. Wow, this one is kind of thick. So I'm just going to make this one thinner. There you go. I think that's pretty much it. Next is I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to use the Move tool. Uh, hold my CTRL key or Control key on my keyboard and drag it outwards. There you go. Same thing. I'm going to highlight both of them. Then again, go to Move tool. This time, I'm going to drag this one by holding my Control key along to the red line. That's it. Now once we're done with this part, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to create some sort of a support, okay, support bracket. We are not again going to be uh, particular with the size, I'm just going to make some sort of estimate in here. Just click and drag. That's it. It could be okay for now, since uh, we're just here just to navigate the controls of this. Then snap it on the edge, okay? Where was it? There. Automatically, uh, by the way guys, uh, wait, uh, automatically by the time you're going to drag it, it will snap on the end point, okay? Once it hits uh, the green um, uh, node or what they call this point, something, there you go. Same thing with the other one. Again, we are not going to be very particular with the size. This is just a sample, so drag it over here like that. Click on this tool again. This is the name of the tool again. It's push pull tool. Drag it inwards. Whoops, where was it? There, midpoint. Okay. Same with this area. So let's make this one fast. I think that's it so we're done creating this part so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to convert this one into components so that we can use this one later on okay so I'm just going to highlight all of them next is I'm going to right click then make component so let's say I'm going to name this one a stable leg legs okay, something like that create automatically it will be seen in here okay on the side this is table legs so if you want to create multiple something like that then you have your duplicate already next is I'm going to click on shapes again rectangle click on the edge up to the next edge okay then point there you go so this is the top part then next is I'm going to use push pull tool to drag this one upwards that's it now if you want to adjust the sides, it's okay, you can just drag it a little bit. Or later on as we go on with some sort of advanced exercise, then I will be providing you with the specifics on how you're going to create some sort of good measurements for this. Okay, so that's it. You have just created a simple table. Now if you want to add materials in it, if you want to have some sort of a wooden texture for that one, you can just click on the materials area, click on wood. I have a couple of wood textures here I think this one is wood veneer is good there you go you can just simply click on the sides there. that's it so that's the first part that's how you are going to use SketchUp it's pretty much easy guys especially if you are familiar with um, some designing tools in Windows then this one will not be very hard for you guys it's just a matter of time for you guys to practice and everything else will go well. Okay, so that's it. Uh, subscribe and I will be creating more and more tutorials like this. Okay, so bye for now.